battery. Uh, I've never done it before, but I've seen it done. Got some steel wool here. The theory behind this method is really quite simple, and all you need is a small amount of fine gauge steel wool and a 9 volt battery. Firstly you need to make a flat pad out of your steel wool just to give you a little bit more surface area to work with. My advice is to prepare your tinder as you would if you were using a ferro rod. I've chosen to use natural tinder in this example. When you start rubbing the 9 volt battery terminals against the part of steel wool, you get the idea of what's happening pretty quickly. Essentially the charge shorts out the fine metal fibres of the steel wool, creating red hot metal embers to work with. The embers last for a good second or two, but as you can see, I made the mistake of not including enough really fine fibrous tinder at the start of the process. The rest is just really about timing and getting enough fine dry tinder in direct contact with the hot metal. Blowing on the steel wool like you would a tinder bundle gave me much more intense heat and more time to position my tinder correctly. The reason this works so effectively is because the two terminals are so close together on a 9 volt battery in comparison to a standard double A. Thankfully I'd chosen to dig a Dakota fire pit and given the extreme conditions at this location it was perfect for controlling the wind. We filmed a Dakota fire pit tutorial and once it's edited and uploaded I'll put the link at the end of this video.